Bangladesh's parliamentary elections are scheduled for January 7. Awami League is the ruling party there and Bangladesh Nationalist Party is the main opposition. This election creates a crucial situation for both the parties as a third party, Jamaat-e-Islami, might also be given a chance. Jamaat-e-Islami does not have a clear path ahead either because the party's registration was cancelled by the election commission and their leader has launched a strong legal challenge. Despite the setback, the Jamaat has discreetly formed four secret hit groups, Azam Squad, Raujan Squad, Al Hazrat Squad and Jamaatul Ansar Phil Hindal Sharkia. What do these groups do? Intelligence officials from Bangladesh and India say that these groups indulge in violence and they have managed to come up with a covert Kashmir style United Jihad Council. This makes it attractive to all those interested in political chaos. For example, the ruling Awami League can use this to justify a national emergency. The opposition could use it for big-time violence to kick out the Awami League. Not only national parties in Bangladesh, but the US, Pakistan and Islamic hardliners also could use these groups for similar reasons. For India, the electoral choices are narrowed down to two outcomes either the Awami League or the BNP Jamaat coalition. The limited options create challenges, especially since India's strategic partner, the US, seems committed to removing Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's Awami League from office. This situation leaves New Delhi facing the possibility of an Islamist coalition taking control in Dhaka. Earlier, Hasina blamed the previous BJP government led by Atal Bihari Vajpayee for supporting the BNP Jamaat coalition. She accused India's RAW of planning an operation that toppled her government six years ago. However, India had an unpleasant experience with Khalida Zia, who was Hasina's political rival and Prime Minister of Bangladesh from 2001 to 2006, as there were terror attacks in eastern and northeastern India by Islamist radicals or ethnic separatists based in Bangladesh. Hasina addressed India's security and connectivity concerns through counter-terrorism and shipping agreements, fostering easy connection to the Northeast. However, this shifted due to Indian failures in settling river water sharing treaties and maintaining its distance from a right-wing Hindutva party. India is hesitant about relying on BNP and is also uneasy with Hasina's failure to control the growing influence of an Islamist lobby led by Salman F. Rahman and Hassan Mahmood in the Awami League itself. This lobby has sidelined pro-Indian figures tied to 1971 liberation war. Of the 300 Awami League candidates, 69 have ties to Islamist parties and 48 have strong business links to China. This does not favour India. In Dhaka, there is talk of lawmakers aiming for Salman Rahman as Deputy Prime Minister after a possibly controversial election. Rahman is seen as having control over Prime Minister Hasina. He is considered a de facto Prime Minister. His influence extends to key ministries and it was evident when he represented Bangladesh at the Global Economic Policy Forum in Delhi. Party insiders say that Rahman has strong ties with Prime Minister Hasina and also has a business partnership with her son Sajib Wazir Joy. Their company Beximco recently sparked a controversy when huge paid advertisements were published observing Pakistan Independence Day. This act trampled over Bangladeshi sensibilities over the 1971 genocide. Hasina made a business deal with Adani which may have pleased India but also raises concerns. India is concerned about supporting Bangladesh, which is clearly leaning towards China for external help against US pressures using Islamists for domestic political moves. India's capacity to influence Hasina is at an all-time low. This is because the Iron Lady sees a Chinese veto in the UN Security Council more useful than promised Indian support to get back to power. New Delhi's ability to influence Hasina is directly linked to India's influence within the Awami League. If India's favoured individuals are gradually replaced in Dhaka, there are fewer obstacles in her cabinet for China. This could lead to increased Chinese influence in Bangladesh, especially in critical sectors like telecom and infrastructure, which in turn could pose significant challenges for India. 
The US is supporting an Islamist coalition to increase protests and remove Hasina from power. They are also pressuring India to convince Hasina to resign. With both Delhi and Dhaka in panic, Washington seems to be winning the first round in the battle for Dhaka. Beijing and Delhi are on the defensive and surprisingly agree on a crucial regional issue. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.